Hola mi gente, congratulations on your new stutter kit. Let me show you how it's done. Here are the materials that you are going to receive with your kit. You are going to get a pre-drilled dome, a tube, a ready-to-use piping bag, one ounce of adhesive, and some strawberry polymer clay slices. For this step, you are going to need your attachment and your adhesive. Now, the he adhesive is not mandatory. You guys can use your own adhesive, whether it's UV resin or A6000. It doesn't really matter. You just got to make sure that you place your attachment nice and centered and that you let that dry or cure the, the necessary time. Once we let that dry, we are going to get our piping bag ready. All you gotta do is cut about an inch on over your piping tip. Once that's open, you're gonna squeeze down all the light wind spiking down and get that ready for pour. Once your lid and attachment are dry or fully cured, depending on the method that you use, we're gonna start pouring our lightweight spackling, aka our whip cream. Now, listen, Linda. I know you're a perfectionist and I know that it might not come out perfect the first time and that's totally fine. Because guess what? You can open the back and redo it all over again. Ta-da! As you can see by how mine came out, I actually <laughs> did that myself. So just open it up, throw it back in the spackling inside the back and repipe as many times as needed. Now that I'm happy with the way my whipped cream came out, we are going to move on to the strawberry polymer clay slices this part is completely optional however you know we always need to give it a little extra touch so that is why we sent out a couple of them so you can try it out there is no specific rules amiga you can throw them all in or you can just place a couple of them but once we're done we are going to let our lightweight spackling aka our whipped cream dry however there is one part that we must not miss and that is shaping our whipped cream. Now, how do we do that? Well, let me tell you. We are gonna place the dome on top of the whipped cream to shape the spackling. We wanna make sure that we do this step before our lightweight spackling dries, because if we do, do not do this step, what's gonna happen is that when we allow that spackling to dry, when we are trying to place over the dome, then we might not be able to fully seal it or the lid will not be able to fit. And if we cannot seal it, then most likely there's gonna be water going inside that dome and we do not want that. I personally like to let it dry for 24 hours. However, 30 minutes will be more than enough time for it to dry. And now we move to the good part, AKA the hardest part about this whole thing. We may screw up the whole thing, but that's okay. <laughs> don't worry amiga i know you got this i know you got this okay now this is a two-part finale <laughs> for the first part we are going to seal the top of our dome and we are going to do it the same way the same method that we did at the beginning of this tutorial we are going to apply our adhesive of choice on top of the little tube attachment make sure that you apply a generous amount because this is where water can go in and you just place your dome over your lid you gotta make sure though that the two holes are centered and that they are <laughs> merging as one so that way it will prevent for any water to go inside of it make sure that you apply a little bit a little bit of pressure just to make sure that you're getting all the glue in every single area of that top part and again if you are going to be using that you see we provided you do want to hold it down for just a couple of minutes until that adhesive is fully dry now for the grand finale and oh my god this is the part that i get the most nervous just because this is this is a hard one y'all this is a hard one. You might need your husband to help you. You might need someone to help you. I actually tried to do it on my own. And I think it kind of worked. But it was kind of difficult. You guys are seeing the shop out version of how long it took me to do it. <laughs> but okay. Anyways, going back to the tutorial. Flip your lid upside down. Using your needle tip applicator, you are going to place adhesive in between the lid and the dome. 
And you're going to make sure that you do it all the way around. It might take you like two to three times for it to be fully sealed. And that's okay. Take your time. Apply the adhesive. And then make sure that you push down on the dome and the lid. Make sure that it's even out though. Because sometimes when we push or clamp in between, we can have a little bit more surface area of the dome in one side than the other. So just make sure that you, as you're applying your pressure, you are seeing all the areas um, or all the diameter of your lid in your dome to really make sure that it is exactly where you want it to be. Again, if you are using the adhesive, you do have to hold it down for a couple of minutes. And this is where I say you might need the help because it's difficult for you to be holding the dome while applying pressure. And sometimes you did not add, you don't add a lot of adhesive. So you are probably going to need someone to either one, hold down the dome and the lid for you while you add the adhesive or the opposite way. You might be holding down the the dome and the lid with both of your hands and then somebody else can help you add more adhesive around it now regardless of any method that you use to adhere all your components you want to make sure that every single thing is fully 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 dry that there are not a lot of bubbles in there because bubbles create air gaps and that can't prevent you from fully attaching your lid therefore when your customer goes and washes it it is most likely that there is going to be water leaks and we do not want those just because we are not fully sealing our whipped cream to make it look more realistic so if water were to go inside that dome then the components of the light with sparkling with the water would just mess up your consistency and your mixture of the lightweight sparkling and it's gonna turn into a hot mess not even that if it does go water inside the dome and you know there's not room for you to clean it out or air it out so it could generate mold i know it can be a little bit intimidating but just take your time take your time analyze see what it's missing what it needs it's definitely a technique that you have to continue to try until you master it. But when you do, look how beautiful and how unique your tumblers will look. And the possibilities are endless. You can add different types of polymer clay. You can do your own drizzle if you want. The possibilities are endless. I hope you guys enjoyed this starter kit. Bye.